Hello gamers, I'm Mortuari and welcome to the first ever Dark Age of Camelot video on the Utgard server and well you might be wondering what is this game? Well this is a game uh, which was quite popular years ago. I played it when it launched in the United States at uh, I think it was in 2001 and I actually played it for quite a long time. Time, I think several years and uh, even today uh, I even reactivate my account every now and then just to check out the status of the game so this game uh, it's it's more than 15 years old but it's still yeah in my opinion one of the best uh, MMORPG games made ever now uh, as you can see I'm playing for the moment I'm playing a shaman which is called Mumeth that's one of the names I use in my online uh, RPG MMORPG uh, characters and this is a shaman uh, so uh, he is uh, supposed to be uh, a buffer a little bit of a healer or uh, a little bit of a uh, yeah, damage dealer it really depends on how you spec things and um, let me tell you a little bit about the game well first of all I'm gonna be turning on the looking for group thingy I am looking for a group and looking for experience and the time well let's say I have two hours of time submit now if people are looking for a shaman my level range they will get in touch with me and I will be able to play with them as I mentioned this game is 15 years old but uh, yeah I still quite like it uh, there was there hasn't been ever a game which is uh, has the same approach let me put my microphone a little bit closer so uh, the idea of this game is that there are three realms. I'm currently playing in the Midgard realm, which is a uh, well, a little bit uh, gets a little bit from the Norse mythology, and uh, you also have the Albion realm, which is uh, yeah, the humans and similar things, and then you have the Hibernia realm, which is more we call them the tree huggers, yeah, they the elves and then similar things, and each realm has its own. Uh, well how should I call it it's its own races and its own classes to play so in fact back in the days uh, I played <coughs> excuse me back in the days I started playing on Isult which was a, a server in the United States and there I played Midgard and I had a, a, a hammer and shield warrior named uh, Tyr and I had a cave no uh, an augmentation uh, shaman and the healer augmentation and mending uh, shaman and i had a few uh, i had also satlagi which was uh, um, a hand-to-hand -hand valkyne savage i played uh, those three classes and then i also played the bone dancer because that was easy to go around and play a little bit with uh, that tune uh, i also played on on lancelot i actually played the longest time on lancelot albion where I, I created one of my very, very, very first characters, which was a uh, Highlander Paladin, a Chant Twisting Paladin. Sword and Shield, Twisting Chants. Oh, it was awesome. I also tried to play a Sorcerer up there. I played a Mercenary up there. I played a Turgist up there. And I ended by playing, uh, I think it was called, uh, how is it called again? Oh, I forgot. The guy with the little pet, he changes into a pet. Uh, I forgot. I can't really remember. Oh yeah, I do remember what I played on Albion. I played Lancelot. Uh, I played uh, Paladin, the Highlander Paladin. I also played the uh, Necromancer. I played a uh, third chest. I tried to play the... Um, how was it called? The Mercenary and the... Uh, what's the other thing called? I forgot. Um, well, it doesn't really matter. doesn't really matter. So the Necromancer. I also played the Reaver, the Thurgist, the Sorcerer, and I tried the Friar as well. A heretic as well. Yeah, Heretic, yeah. And uh, once we were done on, on Albion, well, done. Some of my friends left and I tried to... Uh, go and check out uh, Hibernia and that's where I played uh, a few more classes in Hibernia which was uh, I think I played the Blade Master, Champion, a Druid I didn't play the Enchanter no that was my friend who played the Enchanter but I ended with playing a Veilwalker which I absolutely loved 
And uh, as I mentioned, Midgard, I played on Isolde, uh, was also one of my first characters I made. I played, let me first try to uh, lower the sound a little bit because I think it's a little bit loud. So I played uh, audio, music volume, ambient music volume. Okay, this should be better. So, what was I saying? Well, back in the days I played on Isolde, I played the uh, uh, Hammer and Shield Warrior, which was a tank, yeah, of course, a warrior, Hammer Shield, which was called Tyr. I played the Falcon Savage hand to hand, which was called Satlagi. I played the Hunter, which was called Dagat. I played the Bone Dancer in the end, because, yeah, that was easy to uh, gain some XP and some money. And I I think that will probably be it. Oh no, I also had the Shaman Con Mumeth as well. So mm, that will be it, I think. I didn't play the Berserker. I tried the Thane and I tried the Valkyrie as well. And I love the Valkyrie as well. But anyway, uh, so we're here on the Uthgard server, which is actually a free shard. It's a, yeah, a server created to play the game on. Uh, for free without subscription it's uh, yeah not really an official server but still I bought the game so actually if I want to play on another server I can uh, I played uh, the game until well the latest uh, the latest expansions and uh, yeah I, I decided to have a look at this uh, this uh, Utgard server this free shard and I hope to be able to find some groups to play around with Oh, the sound is still a little bit too high for me. Let me uh, get to options. Oh, options. No, that wasn't it. Uh, this options, where is it? Here it is. And I'm going to be lowering the effects of volume to about four. There, yeah, except. Let me check one more thing. I hope I have the set looking for group on. Yes, I am looking for group experience. Yeah, yeah, let's submit. So I'm looking for a group. I hope to be able to find one. I will be typing a little message as well. There we go. So I'm now a shaman. I've decided to go uh, full augmentation. I'm still hesitating if I will be picking um, subterran, which is cave, or mending, which is healing. The subterran one is actually dots and uh, damage dealing spells, and the mending one is healing. Augmentation is, is your buffs. You really need those as a shaman. So I'm hoping to be able to find a group at some point. And. Uh, yeah, maybe go ahead and do some stuff. So I'm still very new. They reset everything. Uh, if I think at a few... No, last week they reset everything. I played during the beta. But uh, they did reset everything. And uh, the server came back online uh, last week for its first week of production, as they call it. And I tried to log on the first few days, but it, it was nearly impossible to log on. There was way too many people playing. I Right now, today, I, I waited for about an hour in the queue. There were uh, 2,600 or 2,800 people locked in. And there was a queue of about 1,000 people waiting to get in. So it's it's gaining some popularity. And uh, I quite like that. I hope uh, this server will be able to uh, give me lots of joy and happiness. And uh, I will be able to play in here as well. So at the start, we will be, of course, doing lots of pve because that's how we get experience that's how we level up that's how we will be getting to level 50 which is the maximum level and along the way we will be doing some pvp which is called rvr here and which is actually realm versus realm and uh, yeah as i mentioned we have three realms albion habernia and midgard and there are some zones which uh, all three realms can access each realm has its own set of zones for pve and there are some zones in which 
all three realms can come together and they can fight each other. They can capture keeps, they can uh, capture towers, capture relics. Actually, I should check out if... if uh, I think they are still using the old frontiers thingy. So you don't have a lot of siege stuff. I will have to check that out. I can't really remember. It's been way too long ago, actually. But uh, the RVR, the PvP is actually, uh, we call it RVR, Realm versus Realm. And the thing is, you have to pay attention because uh, I remember the days of uh, trying to take a tower in Emain was uh, one of the zones in the, the, mid, uh, the Hibernia uh, RVR area. And we were trying to capture one of the towers uh, with our Albion friends. And uh, during the RVR, we always had to pay attention not to be... Uh, well, stabbed in the back by the Midgard people because you have three realms and it's uh, yeah, it's quite easy for uh, one realm to attack another realm but you have the third realm which you have to take into account because they can always come up from behind you with a whole group or two groups or three groups and yeah, kick kick your butt. <laughs> it, it happens a lot of times to me. Okay, let's check this guy. Oh, let's give him some healing. Yeah, why not? Look, I got a group. Except... No idea where they are. Yep, yeah, there they are. I think it's these guys, actually. No, it isn't. Uh, Galpen. Okay, I have to go back. Uh, I will tra have to travel to Galpen, which is oh, quite a long way, actually. Yeah, let me try to show you the map. This is one of the zones. Uh, I think we have about eight or nine in the old world because with each expansion, new stuff got added. Like for example, Shrouded Isles. Shrouded Isles added a whole new set of zones to the world. And uh, there was also Trials of Atlantis, which added again a whole new set of uh, well zones to the world. The nice thing is, there is no actual zoning, so if I would go from here to, for example, this area, I would zone into uh, East Zvilland, but there is no zoning, no loading screen. It's, yeah, the only loading screens you get is when you go into RVR zones, or when, when you go into dungeons, then you get a loading screen as well. Always nice, always nice. So let me quickly try to get, well, quickly, I'm, I'm a troll. Quickly, fair troll means... Uh, give me half an hour. Uh, Mulan is supposed to be the bomb for leveling at... I am in Mulan, so that would be nice. I think I am. Yeah, I am in Mulan. So Mullern is one of the little towns you see here on the map, Mullern. It's right next to the capital city of Midgard, which is called Jordheim. And yeah, this is one of the zones. So there is a lot of stuff here to kill, a lot of XP to gain. And well, as always, at the start of any MMORPG, you have to gain some levels because at level 5, there isn't really a lot you can do. Let me check where we meet up and uh, I will try to get travel there by horse because we have some horse routes uh, which well makes traveling a little bit faster. Apparently we will be meeting here, that's nice. Okay, so I'm a little bit of a healer. Ooh. She is actually... A real healer. Let me show you. When you click on it, it will show you in the chat log. She's a healer. I'm a shaman. So I can give him her uh, some additional buffs, actually. Which is my spec buffs, they call them. Those are buffs only the shaman has, as far as I can remember. Stick to her for now. 15 and mine does 15 as well. 
I have all those, which is nice. So I'm up. We have to wait. Uh, anything else I can tell you about the game? Well, um, for the time being, probably not. I'm also not sure how much I should be talking in these videos because, yeah, once you're busy, once you're doing some uh, PVE, there isn't really a lot of room to talk because I have to pay attention to everyone's health and help out wherever we can. Meanwhile, I think I will be grabbing myself a little drink. Mm. First of all, maybe bind here. Binding in this town will make sure uh, when I die, then I release my corpse, I will be respawning right here. So if I'm, I'm, if I'm getting some XP in the area, that should be awesome. Um, if there are people in the stream watching this, feel free to let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to post suggestions. I'm open for anything. I can see the, the chat on the different streaming sites because I'm streaming on YouTube. I'm streaming on, uh, what's the other thing called? On Twitch and I'm streaming on Beam. So if you have anything to say to me, Feel free to use the chat and I will try to react. Probably I will be talking and not typing. Just so you know. Maybe there is something else I can tell you. Let me show you a little bit about the user interface. You have to remember this game is, well, probably... I'm saying 15 years, but I remember playing it in 2001, I believe. So yeah, that would be 15 years, actually. Uh, I do have a custom user interface. I think it's Bob's UI. Uh, you can check that out or find uh, information about that on the internet. Check DAOC Bob's UI. And I will be posting a link, link below the YouTube video as well. So, this is my uh, character sheet. Uh, I see a few things here, weapon damage, weapon skill. Uh, yeah, the, the higher your weapon skill, the more damage you will do. This is probably, I, I can't really remember how it goes, but this is probably your maximum damage. And the higher your weapon skill is, the more you will reach that maximum da damage. Hit points is your health, armor factor is your, well, your armor. And that all depends on the stuff you are wearing. Let me get back to that later on. These are my attributes, strength, constitution, dexterity, quickness, piety, empathy, charisma, and intelligence. I think for me, constitution, strength, and piety were important. So I added a few points to that at uh, character creation. These are my resistances. So I have plus 3% resistance to slash. Slash is probably uh, the damage done by swords. Crush is the damage done by hammers. Thrust is the damage done by... Uh, how was it called again? Daggers. Yeah, that's it. And the rest is all uh, magical damage. Run points isn't all that important right now. I have some additional information about my class. I'm a race troll. Base class seer. My class is a shaman. So when you start the game, actually... Uh, I think on official they changed that. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you still have to go through the first five levels. Well, you have to go to the first five levels, but I'm not quite sure if you have to pick the base class and then your specialization class. Because back in the days, you had to pick a, a base class, which was, for example, uh, in Albion, that was a fighter. And at level five, you could go with a specialization class, which was then you had to pick if you wanted to become a paladin or an opsman or maybe even a mercenary. I can't really remember, but it was one of those. Like, for example, here in Midgard, your base class was a seer and the things you could go, uh, you could choose uh, if you started out as a seer were um, healer and a shaman. 
that's all. So that's what that means. The rest isn't really all that important. Next tab is my inventory. As you can see, I have a few things on, nothing really all that important. Uh, you should have normally uh, in end game or whenever you, you, you can, you should have orange colored equipment. So blue is probably your level. Yellow is one level higher than you. Orange is a little bit higher than that. And then you still have red, I believe, and I'm, I'm not quite sure. Mobs color the same way, for example. You have blue mobs, which are your level. Green mobs are lower level than you. Gray mobs are not worth doing because you don't get any XP or drops from them. Then you have yellow levels, which are when you solo, those are optimal uh, experience wise and probably drop wise. So they are one level above you. Orange might be tough. Uh, especially solo you might survive you might die uh, red ones and then you have purple ones and the red ones and the purple ones are stuff you should do in group red ones yeah you will get killed solo you will probably survive in a group the purple ones it really depends because at level 5 everything at about level yeah let me say level 12 and above is purple to you so you could be fighting a level 13 you could be level fighting level 35 dangerous 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 same thing for your armor so i just have some basic armor i have found nothing special on it it has a says six armor factory some absorption quality is rather low constitution yeah the more you use it the more it gets damaged and constitution will drop and you will have to repair it after a while. Same thing with my hammer, for example. That's a yellow colored hammer. So that's a nice hammer for my level. You see it has base damage, the same thing. Effective damage, 2.7 DPS. And it gives me one bonus to cave magic. Shield. Let's have a look at the shield. Just a standard shield, small shield. I am wearing some cloth armor. Not really all that good. I should be going for... Uh, I think I can wear studded leather as a shaman. Let me check. I thought... Ah, oh, it doesn't show. I thought it showed somewhere. Does it, oh, yeah. Here. Armor, leather. That's what I can wear. Shield, small shields. And weaponry. I can use hammers and staves. At some point I will be able to use studded leather which gives me more protection than default leather and I think at level 20 or level 40 I can't really remember. Yeah, I can wear chain armor as well which is even better than, than studded leather. Next tab, these are my specialization points so I specialized into augmentation. I put 5 points into augmentations, 2 into subterrain, 2 into mending and as we noticed from the ham hammer, I get one bonus level in Subterrain as well. Some special abilities I have, not really interesting. Sprint can be worth having on your hotbar, because uh, if you have Endurance, then you might be able to sprint away from danger. Combat styles, well, as a Shaman I won't have anything in here, but because I can't really specialize into any combat style, uh, combat, uh, I mean into any weaponry. So for, for example, if you would have specced into hammer, then you might have some hammer related styles in here. If you would have specced into shield, you might have some shield re related styles in here. We did have some spells. Some spells in the mending branch, which are my healing spells. Some spells in the augmentation branch, which are my buffing spells. And some spells spells in uh, my subterran, which is the cave line, they call it. Which are my damage uh, spells. And I put everything into my hotbars already. Next tab. Well, this is the group tab. Allows me to see who is in my group, what level they are, and what buffs they have. I, my uh, my custom UI all, also shows that right here. So I see who's in my group, what their health is at. This allows me to even have a click on them and, and heal them accordingly. That's three times the same thing actually. 
I'm not quite sure which one I will be keeping because I'm. This is the first time I act actively will be healing. So I will have to watch that out. Last tab is just my options. Anything else up here? Yes. I have my hotbar, two hotbars. This one goes up to here, one goes up to here. These are my active buffs. And in the lower right part of the screen, I have some information about my connection and some information about the way I'm heading. So now I'm looking into the northwest. Below that, I see the same thing, another compass, northwest. My health is at maximum, my endurance is at maximum, and my power is at maximum. If health reaches zero, I die. If endurance reaches zero, I won't be able to uh, use any of my uh, combat skills, well, the weapon skills. And if my power reaches zero, I won't be able to cast any spells. And yeah, that's about it for the basic information on Dark Age of Camelot. So I think I will be rounding up this first episode right here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to post those in the comment section below the video. And while you are there, check out uh, the links in the description. That's where you find links to my social media channels and also links to my Patreon, Patreon page in case you want to support me. And uh, yeah, you can also subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to this channel. Well, I think I will be wrapping up today's episode right here. I hope uh, you liked it. And until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.